Hey guys, it's Satoshi here, and today we are discussing why Samantha LaRusso is Cobra Kai's worst character. Turn on notifications so that you'll never miss another Cobra Kai video ever again. Subscribe right now if you already have not done so. Help get this video to 100 likes if you'd like me to continue putting out more Cobra Kai videos like this one. And help share this video on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other platforms so both new and old Cobra Kai fans can find these videos. And now let's begin. Guys, when it comes to Samantha LaRusso, she is absolutely, positively Cobra Kai's worst character. As you can see in the fan poll shown on the screen right now, you can see that many people do absolutely believe that she is Cobra Kai's worst character all right or let me put it this way she is actually she is absolutely a villain a lot of people think that dimitri might be the worst character in cobra kai but i believe sam is the worst character you see dimitri when you observe dimitri dimitri is very happy in his miserable reality he is he's is very content in his miserable reality and he does not want to change and you know what why even bother anymore? Why try to force someone like that to change? You shouldn't try to force Dimitri to change. The problem is that he's trying to get everyone to adapt and to change and to bend to him. All right? It's guys like Dimitri that go out and, you know, maybe they they go and form a company later on in life, like a Facebook or another big company, and then they believe that everyone should then emulate their beliefs and their behaviors. And I'm telling you right now, it's people like Dimitri who may be successful financially in life, but when it comes to being successful with people relating to others, they have no clue. They are extremely close-minded. They are extremely one-sided. They view things only from their perspective and from their viewpoints. They can only see what they choose to see. All right. And that's how it is for everyone. You choose what you see is what you choose to see. But they literally are not objective people. All right. I'm just being very honest. I am not a fan of Dimitri, but Sam, Samantha LaRusso, she is the worst character in Cobra Kai. She takes no accountability for anything she does, for anything she says. She is a person who does not tell the truth. Let me tell you this. When Yasmin slammed into Johnny's car and almost slammed into Johnny himself, she basically kept her mouth shut. And I think I saw someone in the chat or in one of the comments saying, uh, the reason why Sam didn't say anything is because Yasmin begged her to. I don't remember if Yasmin begged her to or not. Okay? Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I don't remember that scene. But let me tell you something. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, she chose not to tell anyone. Silence is compliance. Even when Miguel saw her at the roller rink and tried to say, listen, I want to be friends, you know, or not even necessarily friends, but just get along. You know, I don't want any problems between us. I want to clear the air. And Miguel was trying to be an honest and kind and genuine human, be human being. And what was Sam doing? Sam didn't want any of that. Sam wanted to continue. Yes, you heard me right. Samantha LaRusso wanted to continue fighting. She wanted to continue having that bad relationship with Miguel. She wanted to continue having that situation where her and Miguel were just not getting along, all right? Because in reality, what she was doing is playing all angles, playing all sides, all right? All Samantha LaRusso does is play games. She plays games with everyone. She plays games with Miguel. She plays games with Tori. She's not straightforward. She's not honest. Tori could see what Samantha was doing from the very beginning. Why do you think Tori challenged her to the drinking game? Because it's what Sam does. She plays games. Alright? She takes no accountability and she's never held accountable for anything. A lot of people are saying that Tori probably got expelled after season th after the end of season two. Let me make it clear, what Tori did was wrong. Tori was absolutely wrong for what she did at the school. And while I'm sad for her to be expelled, all right, because and at the end of the day, she deserves to be expelled for what she did. But what she did, however, it showed that people in there are people in this world that won't take the nonsense. They won't lay down and say, OK, I'm just going to allow you to do whatever you want in my life and do whatever you want to others. You can't just take whatever you want. 
People like Samantha LaRusso are the kinds of people that go around claiming that everyone else is the is the, is the bully and they're the and they're the ones being bullied or everyone else is the she, they're the victims and everyone else are the vic, are the ones that are are the villains. You know? Cuz that's how it is in Samantha's head. I'm a vi- I'm a victim and everyone else is the villain. All right? The world through Samantha LaRusso's eyes is that she is the one who is all she's the hero and she knows that she's not the hero but she basically figures that by saying nothing by keeping her mouth closed and by basically going along with things you know well I it wasn't my fault it wasn't my let me think about this the whole thing in season one where Robbie and Miguel have that terrible confrontation and then Samantha gets gets I don't want to say hurt but like she gets more you know you see you guys saw what happened in the in, in that scene with her and Miguel and she blames Miguel for it well, here's the truth about that. She comes to the party with some random guy who's now living with her and then acts like everything is okay and hey man, we should all just be friends. Let's be cool. And then when Miguel is arguing with Robbie, she comes and walks into it and then acts like he was like he deliberately did it like you've got and then oh my gosh, you you just you, you I'm such a victim. I'm a victim. I'm immediately victim without using any reason whatsoever. You see you see Sam doesn't use reason. Sam is not a reasonable person. And the thing about Sam is that she likes to jump from one person to the other, all right? Ky- like, this whole thing about Kyler, let me make this clear. Sam knew exactly what was happening with, with Kyler, all right? Like, when they went to the room and, like, he was, like, unbuckling, like, taking some, claiming that he was taking something out of his pants. Come on, man. Like, oh, she doesn't know. She's, she doesn't know what's happening. Women are smart. Women are just as smart as men. I'm telling you the truth. Women are smart. Maybe their maybe all our brains may not work 100% exactly the same, but women are smart, intelligent beings. Women are not necessarily as women are smaller than men, so they're not always physically as strong as men, but they are just as smart and capable as men. They are capable of reason. They are capable of making rational, reasonable decisions. They are capable of making imp- important discoveries. What happens is that we underestimate women. And one of the reasons why people like Samantha LaRusso get away with everything that they're doing is because of people who are simps. It's the simps who basically say, oh, you know what? We're going to allow this type of thing. We don't care what happens, but they simp all over the situation. They basically say that, oh, well, you know what? Even though she did this, even though she said this, we're just going to look at the outside. We're only going to say, wow, she's pretty. So because she's pretty, then this is allowed behavior. Because she's pretty, then she can get away with it. Because she's pretty and privileged and quiet and like acts like she's quiet or kind, then we can basically say, okay, let me tell you something. I've went through life with these kinds of girls and the kinds of women who are the, the women who are the like, you know, play this the girl next door thing. I'm kind, I'm so cool and everything. But the truth is that it's hiding a darkness inside of them. And you see who they are when they're tested. When something happens, look at how they react. Look at how they treat others. Look at, I mean, Sam goes around like she's a victim. She acts like she's a victim of Miguel. She acts like she's a victim of Tori. All right? She was, maybe she was training before she ran into Tori again, but the thing is that I, I'm, I believe that she really got more serious about her training after she tried to like snatch Tori's purse. And like, it's intri- intriguing. You tried to snatch her purse, all right? That's theft. You're talking about her stealing a, a bottle of like, a bottle of like vodka or something, and you tried to steal her purse. I wasn't stealing it. I was inspecting it. And who the heck are you? All right? Who are you? If you have a problem, why didn't you go to the police? Oh, I know why. Because you're not perfect yourself. Now imagine if she had gone to, imagine if Tori had gone to the police and said, you know what? Listen, yeah, I'm underage and we were taking this bottle of vodka and then she came and claimed that I stole her mother's purse and then she tried to steal my purse. Okay? Being a reasonable person and someone who tells the truth, people might say, okay, fine, so yeah, you were taking a bottle of vodka, that is underage drinking, but Sam tried to steal her purse, steal her purse, you know? 
from from an adult perspective, being a reasonable adult, you would say this is going too far. And after Samantha had to have found out that it was not Tori, that Tori had not done this, did Samantha apologize? No, I'm still the victim. In her mind, she's like, oh, I'm still the victim. She how are, how is Sam still the victim of Tori? After they met the first time, and she tried to snatch Tori's purse, and then she finds out that she was wrong, but she's the victim because she tried to take her purse, and then Tori pushed her off, she fell into food, she's the victim. No. Samantha LaRusso is the forever victim because she is the villain of the series. Alright? And there are many villains, but she is the villain of the series. She has orchestrated everything in the series. And you know something interesting? While her father, like Daniel is, Daniel is not a very reasonable guy, but I will say that Daniel, I think, is at least, like when he sat down with Johnny and they kind of talked a little bit, there's a little bit of reason there, at least a little, but Sam, and I'm not blaming, and I'm not saying that Danny, Daniel doesn't have a role to play, because he's a part of the reason why Sam doesn't take responsibility for anything. Because when she's tried to, like at the end of season two, he goes, no, 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 it's Tori's fault. She, Sam says, it's all my fault. And, and, and Daniel goes, no, 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 it's that other girl. I'm going to get her kicked out of school. And I'm thinking to myself, think about this. You don't even care what happens to this other girl. You don't even care about what your daughter did. doesn't matter. You've got to be kidding me. Let me know what you think if you guys agree that Sam is the worst character in Cobra Kai because she will forever be... The, vi the, the she will ever forever portray herself as a victim, all right, and being a powerful a powerful victim, all right. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you agree with what I said in this video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and help get this video 100 likes. Share the video on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and other platforms so that we can so that more, new and old Cobra Kai fans can find this video, check it out, hear more about these ideas and these theories. You know, and, and relate more. Because I don't think that in the series, the series is not about really saying who's right or wrong, but it's about perspective. Just like in the original Karate Kid film, we could see that Daniel LaRusso was a guy that was literally trying to bully, da bully Johnny. That's honestly what it was. He was trying to bully Johnny. All right? But we'll get to that in another video. For now, like I said, like, share, subscribe, turn on... Like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, never miss a Cobra Kai, another Cobra Kai video ever again. Share this video on social media so that both new and old Cobra Kai fans can find these videos. Check out the other videos now linked on the screen so you can keep on watching more of these videos and learning more about these theories and learning more why, more about why Samantha LaRusso is the worst character in Cobra Kai. Maybe I might revise this belief later on, but I'm, I think I'm pretty good with it right now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll talk about it in the comments. You'll let me know what you think. Peace.